is going on guys? My name is Dr. Fan and welcome back to LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. In the last episode we finished up level 1 of this game, Pursuers in the Sewers, and today we're going to be continuing on. So let's us go. Uh, I should point out while this cutscene is going on, uh, and apologize again, I apologize for the lag and whatever comes out. Um, this is actually being... Uh, recorded in post commentary the audio uh, the voice of this is being recorded in post uh, I honestly do not know why uh, or how but I must have derped when recording uh, the with OBS oh no I wasn't using OBS I was using uh, Xbox Gamecaster so um, so this part and the next part will be in um, will be like this, and all of the lanterns have been brainwashed, mind controlled, whatever you want to call it, and that's not good. Anyway, continuing on, he's heading to Earth, that's never good. Meanwhile, we see our last lantern core member, Green Lantern, and again the lag. Lag seems to suck at this point. It, it seems to suck during cutscenes, but uh, I'm getting it better at it, and hopefully it's going to be good by later on. But Cyborg is in this game. I know Robin was in this game, but Cyborg being in this game is a bit different. I wasn't expecting it. I, there's two of the three Teen Titans. There's two of the five Teen Titans there. Uh, Beast Boy is also in this game, but we see Martian Manhunter and the Watchtower. The Watchtower looks beautiful in this game. Um, so, and about two... Oh, I don't know how long this portion of the thing is, but meanwhile, back to the back, Dave. Uh, basically, as you could read and hear, uh, Killer Croc took some stuff from... Somewhere in when you were in the sewers. Down here would be great, thanks. God damn it, Batman. Wow. A UFO is approaching Earth. On second thought, Alfred, we'll lead in the observatory. At this point, I think I had... Oh, there we go. Um, I was wondering what was going on. But at this point, we now have... We are now in uh, a hub world of the Batcave. We're only in the specific section. We're not only allowed to access this specific section, but it does make use of the suits we have at this point, which is the sensor suit and the hazard suit. Um, so usually, usually what I like to do is break whatever's there and then go on, continue on. So Batman's going to switch to his sensor suit and use it on this x-ray wall. What you got to do here is basically move the batteries into position and then press the button. And it unlocks another suit, I think. No, well, it, lasts, it unlocks one of those. Now, if you notice, there was some silver-plated stuff there. That can be used with the power suit. So now we have three out of the eight suits that we can use. So, and what this suit can do is... Wait for it while I target all of these. Blow shit up! That's awesome, and it's giving us a prompt. I don't like that mic giving us prompts. But, um, so we're gonna build one of these push lever thingies. I don't even know what they're officially called. We're gonna push it after we pick up the studs, and I derp. And so it raises the staircase. There's actually other stuff that we can access in this level, but uh, by getting up there. But uh, I wasn't able to access it in the beginning. But as per usual in my Lego games, and this will be a norm in my Lego games, I will love to break anything and everything that can be broken. As you can see, 
there's a camera watching you. If the camera sees you, you cannot go into the place. It just blocks it off. But um, but that's going to be the norm when I do Lego games. Is I'm going to collect all the studs in that level, and I'm going to break everything. So, and if you notice, Batman, you would expect Batman to be able to use those smart guy panels. See, I didn't stay here for long enough. Oh, maybe I did. Hmm. This only works when you're in normal mode. But, in order for us to get past that, we are going to need, after I'm done breaking everything, like I, like I do, I'm going to need a sensor suit. Because the sensor suit has another function. It has the function of going invisible. And that's awesome. Now, if you notice, there was another suit in there. And we're going to unlock it right off the point very shortly. If you look in there, there's another suit. Now, that's not a suit for Batman. It's actually a suit for Robin, uh, which is really cool. But as per Doctor Who fan style, I'm going to break it before we do anything. Break everything and collect the studs. I'm going to break it now. And now we need Robin. We're going to... I think we're going to switch over to Robin, yep. And now we have Robin's Techno Suit, which means now we've got three out of eight. Well, I guess two out of seven suits, because normal Robin, normal Batman. So what Robin can do is Robin can activate these smart guy panels. So, yeah. And there's Batman with some nice help. So we have a simple puzzle here, basically... Stop them when it uh, reaches their respective uh, colors. As you can see, I totally derped. I thought I could do it right off of that. And it unlocks the next part, which will be a cutscene. Oh, let us. Up. Now, also, I do have the three DLC part one parts unlocked, which is Man of Steel, the Dark Knight trilogy, and Batman 75th Anniversary. But we are about to head into the next level, which is dubiously titled Breaking Bats. As you can see, we don't have anything in there. And if we look, we have two out of five little bricks and uh, ten mini kit. We don't have any of that. We just have the two the two things. And I've got the true hero status. That's what happened in the last part. But the cool thing about this game is that you could go to either portion. So if there's a cutscene between portions or whatever, or there's a checkpoint, it will allow you to go back to that specific point. But anyway, let us continue with the game. And look at that. And another cool thing is on the loading screen, I think I do with the here, is, come on, past me. Well, what you can do is, oh, you can affect the rotation of this. So basically you can make it, you can change the angle that it's facing, you can rotate it even faster or the other direction. But anyway, we're up in the observatory with Batman and Robin. And Brainiac shit. Yeah. I should probably bring down my volume. Just, oh, I can't, can I? There we go. That way it's... I, I want, oh, it? fuck. How wonderful. Oh, yeah. Basically, Robin, as you can hear. Yeah. Oh, here we go. There we go. Turn down the volume. Turn down for what? There we go. Yeah, way, it doesn't sound like I'm talking like this. Okay. So, uh, now Batman's mind controlled by Brainiac. And he top on his power suit. So, this is the entire level, first entire level without Batman. Oh my. Welcome to Breaking Bats. The stud total for this to make true hero status is 170 studs. Usually the first level of any LEGO game would be a small amount so it's easily obtainable, but uh, this is one we're going to have to obtain in free play. Trust me, I have tried. No use so, um, yeah, I think the amount, going back to my notes, because I had to jot this down. This game was so difficult, we had to, I had to jot this down. 
uh, available right off the start doing this level. I believe, once I find the page, there are three that we can collect right in story mode. And the first is by hitting those globes. When we hit those globes, as you see, it was one of three. So there are three globes scattered around the level that you can break. One is actually up top. Two, one. There we go. All right, so quick edit right there. So basically, like I said, before that huge ass long pause, we're gonna be going through this and I think, yeah, let's put it into about half. Like I said, uh, the recording session for this was pretty long, so I, uh, I decided I was gonna break it in half. Um, so when it, when it pulls a, a Z-Royal Viking and just goes, pew, that's when you know that I'm gone. Anyway, I'm gonna break up everything and and then I will get back to the story once everything broken. <sighs> Actually, as pertaining to the mini kit with the globes, the second one is right in front of us. We're about we're gonna break it very shortly. Um, Never good with post commentating, but uh, I think we're gonna break it right out. Well, we still got shit we're gonna break. There we go. Oh, not fully broken. Nope. So now it's dead. Two out of three. Third one will come a little bit later, but yes. So Batman's gonna do this, he's gonna blow, try to blow you up with everything, and meanwhile you're gonna break everything. But the cool thing about Robin is, after I'm done doing my usual thing, I should honestly just edit this out, but I'm not. Pardon me. Alright, so quick edit right there when we had to do stuff. Um, Robin's still not done. Sorry, I need something to drink. So, I think we're done. Almost. Just about. This this is really sucky when it comes to this. But with Robin, what you could do is you could do that. His stick becomes a trampeze. That so you could just go whoop, whoop, whoop. And we get up there. And Batman decides to swarm you with a piece of Dante and some bats. You can get out there as soon as possible. That's it for part one. Part two will most likely take us to the opposite side. And as you can see up there, Adam West is standing up there. I honestly do not know how to get him down. I'm serious. That's so serious. So, now what we gotta do is we're gonna switch to Alfred, because Alfred's tray acts as a shield. Shields are good against fire. Your shield was used. So Batman's gonna blow up some more silver based things, I think.
And that's gonna open up that, which we use. Wait, we're gonna make the one thing first? Yeah, we're gonna make the techno pad first. We're gonna go get the studs from it. Now that can also be used by Robin in his techno suit, as you can see there. I'm sorry, I'm acting like, like silly. But Alfred's gonna get everything before we continue. Unlike any standard character that does not have a superhero thing beside it. Alfred go blow everything up via the Doctor Who Lego style. Like, and then the cool thing is about this one is the only way to put out the fire is if you basically build a tank, a set of tanks. So we're gonna build them. We're gonna put the fire up and we're gonna get a lot. Uh, I mean a lot of studs. Like putting these fires out means a lot of studs. Like look at the amount of studs. That's about a good 3,000, no, uh, it's about a good 2,000 studs. Anyway, switching back to Robin, and we are actually going to... I don't know what I'm doing. Trying to get more studs, I think. So we're going to switch to his, his techno suit, and his techno suit can do that. Cool thing about this one is its timing. So, it's basically going to allow this diorama to just go like this, and that's going to fall off, letting us have a grapple point. And I say grapple point because, seriously, it can be used as a grapple point. But first, we're going to target that. So, we're going to grab the studs, but we're also going to fall to our death, like Giddu. And, and we're going to just, we're going to jump over here. I hate when Robin does his backflip, though. So we're gonna come over here and basically it's lather rinse repeat for this. So Batman's gonna land up there and he's gonna set that little section that we couldn't destroy before. He's gonna blow it up. Boom. Done. Gone. Can never be replaced. But we're gonna come behind it and actually destroy the shit that's back there, which is actually not very much. Actually, nothing we can destroy. But then we're gonna build. Oh, wait. Oh, there's light, but the light doesn't really matter. Come on, pass me. What's wrong with you? But we're gonna build after we're done with that. Alright, we're gonna build this first. And it's going to make a screen pop up. So now we have one of these things, so we got to use this Robin again. The thing about this is you just got to hit both of those and it just opens up the bridge. So pardon for the background noise, I'm trying to get my audio levels to a point where this doesn't pick it up so sensitively. Whatever, I'm just gonna try my hardest. So, Batman's gonna blow up the thing, and it's gonna drop down the next set of suit for Robin. Batman got the power suit, Robin got the techno suit, but now Robin's gonna pull ahead and grab his illumination suit. Actually, I think I jumped over at that point. Oh, well. Um, we cannot go in there because it's too dark. Well, we can, but we won't see anything. But we're going to grab our first of many mini kits by breaking that and grabbing it. So now we actually now have our first mini kit. But now we actually have to hop down. Why don't we grab this? And hello, one TV is Adam West. Suppose you can lend me a hand. Hasn't And we're going to get the illumination suit because. Yeah. 
Illumination suit. Three out of seven. So we're almost uh, halfway there. Basically, Robin becomes a giant flashlight. Thing is, he needs to charge at these stations. As you can see, on, see on his back, there's a battery compartment, and it shows how. Well, this will last for uh, a good five minutes. So Robin's gonna light up, and we're gonna get some stuff, and we're just gonna go pull, 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 and that's gonna initiate a cutscene. Batman's gonna get to the bat. Stone missiles only. And yet, Batman seems to be a master, even brainwashed. What the hell? But he gets to the Batmobile. Mm, great, now the Joker's gonna get away. So we're gonna blow it up, aren't we? Just hope he remembers who he is. We've gotta stop him. But anyway, we are going to this is part two of this. Two purple studs. That's a good chunk of dough. Um, and also just to let you guys know that this level we do not complete you cannot complete the uh uh, true hero status in story mode There's well, okay. Maybe there is and maybe you can because I think I would I think I got up to 99% um, You do not have you you can't die not once this is one where you've got to go without dying um, Well You should go through the game without dying, but you get my drift Anyway, we're gonna pull out Robin. We're gonna break anything in this area, a la DWF style. Which is, break everything. Oh, or we're gonna, I don't know. See, when you press X to attack, it also can be used to switch suits. So, that's a thing. So, uh, is it, do we have enough juice? No, we do not. So now we're gonna power on Robin's illumination suit. So, uh, we're just about ready to get our next mini kit here. Um, the uh, uh, bad thing about this is, um, you can't see it while it's lit. He won't stay lit. When you switch to Alfred, the suit will not stay lit. It will just stop. So, after this, we're going to switch to Alfred. And the suit went off. So, I'm over. But Alfred can still dig in the dark. Apparently, that's another one of Alfred's tricks he can dig. And you can also, I believe yeah, there was a mini kit that we just made. And all of a sudden, we're going to grab it, make our second. If three in this part, uh, and we will be going back to each of the levels after we complete the game and doing those. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing the DLC missions, and I will be getting the Batman Beyond and the Arrow DLC packs soon. But um, um, with this, I'm going to be with the DLC packs, I'm basically just going to do it twice. Do it twice, get whatever minifigures there are, and then just say, end the game. Um, like, I think in my personal file, I did the Batman DLC. So, that's fun.
We're gonna switch back to the techno suit. Activate this techno panel. And we're gonna build the bat boat. I swear, Batman has a lot of bat vehicles. Although, to be fair, the bat bike is technically Robin's. Yes. So the cool thing is we can hop in the bat bike or the bat boat and we can target the Batmobile and blow it up. But Batman decides, oh I'm gonna blow up the bat boat. Are oh, you daft man? Anyway. So now he goes up to the next level to an extent. We have access to the next place. We're gonna need Alfred for this part. Oh god. Alfred powers activate. Butlering away. So we gotta build a fire extinguisher. We got to build a fire extinguisher. I swear these games get weirder and weirder. Can I get the studs? Yeah, let me get the, the, the tons of studs that we get from this. And yes, we did get some lag issues, unfortunately. And it opens up the access to the next level. The next portion of the level, I guess. Where our job is to assemble the bat bike. But we are not going to do that. Oh no 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 no. We're just gonna walk around and let Batman shoot us with the Batmobile. Now you can't hit those things. I do not know why. I think they're just supposed to connect up to the, the Batmobile controls or something. I have no idea. But here, the Batwing's supposed to show up in this end. And I was stupid enough not to remember that. So coming over here is kind of a waste of time. Although if you come over, if you come over here before, it's actually better because there's more stuff you can actually get. You can actually get more studs. Uh, I honestly do not know how to access that. Um, there's a, a a mini kit over here, and I honestly don't know how to access it, how to get it. So um, hopefully, hopefully in free play we'll get that and. Uh, I think well, we've still got a good two minutes left. So we're gonna pick up the studs here and then uh, go make the bed bike. Sounds good. Sounds good. But 
Anyway, we're just gonna keep going through that. But yeah, you can see. Um, actually, in the in the main store in the hub world, uh, this actually is character customization through that door, um, which is awesome. I've tried and tried and tried. I think I gotta get up and do something. I don't know. But we're gonna break everything. Break everything! But anyway, that's gonna be it for me.